All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakwadash. I also want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring this work <clears throat> for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of that great multitude that are listening to these videos and that serving the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom, and I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp, and I'm coming back with another daily exhortation through the spirit and power of the Yahweh Bashim Shai, and I pray that the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. All right, in tonight's lesson, I'm going to start at John chapter 3 and 19. And it reads, and this is the condemnation, that light is coming into the world, okay? So this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay, has came into the world, man, okay? You're seeing Israelite camps, all right, the, um, in, in, in every major city, okay? You, uh, you, you got brothers teaching his word throughout the four corners of the earth, as it says in prophecy, Okay? And, and and so light has come into the world, man. All right, you seeing um, uh, people wake up to that nationality. All right, all over social media. Okay, people are are are, are um, the scripture says in Baruch. All right, in the land of, of our captivity, we shall remember ourselves. <clears throat> okay, and we're not we're not identifying ourselves as being black. All right, we're not identifying ourselves as being native and uh, Latinos and Hispanics. All right, and Cubans. All right, all these by words and proverbs. All right, so we're waking up to the fact that uh, of who we are. Okay, and we read that again, John three and nineteen. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, <clears throat> and men love darkness rather than light. Right, man. All right, majority of our people. All right, they love darkness rather than light. You see, because it's not it's not cool. Okay, in this society, you know. To, to 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 believe in in, in 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 the most high all right to keep his ways okay you know wickedness is glorified in in this place man you know people uh openly worship Satan you know if if, if you uh if you're a homosexual okay you 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 you're uh you're glorified all right you get all these rights you know but uh but but once you start speaking about uh righteousness you know these people you know show you that they're that they're uh that, that they're wicked okay and it says and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil right man because their actions were evil all right and the scripture says you shall know a man by his fruit man okay and we're and we seeing uh now that we woke up to this now that we woke up to this wisdom not to understand him all right we see that majority of our people are wicked okay and this is why the Lord is going is only going to save that small remnant man. because uh, two thirds of our people keep uh, uh, being evil. All right, they want to keep being wicked. You know, they want to keep uh, um, committing adultery. You know, they want to keep um, worshiping idols. You know, they want to keep being homosexuals. All right, they want to keep uh, um, being adulterers and adulterous. You know, and that's why the Lord is only going to save that small remnant, man. Okay. And uh, verse 20 says, for everyone that doeth evil, hateth the light. You see? So, hey, 66.6 uh, .6 of our people, you know, they hate us. All right? Because we're following after righteousness. You know? And we see that, you know, with, with our family members. You know? Your, your, your mother, you know, your, your brother, you know, your wife, your sister. All right? And that's why the Lord says, you know, you must forsake these things, man. You know? And it says... For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. So you're you only going to come to this light, man, once you correct your actions, all right? Because the wisdom of Solomon, all right, 1 and 4 says, wisdom dwells not in a malicious soul, man, all right? So you have to clean yourself up, man, all right, in order to come into this light, man, all right? You know, you got to draw nigh to the most high and he will draw nigh to you. The Lord says, cleanse your hands, ye sinners. You see, so you have to cleanse your ways, man. OK, you got to stop uh, eating pork, crab, shrimp, lobster. You know, you got to stop being an adulterer. You know, you got to stop smoking black and miles and cigarettes and doing drugs. OK, script says defile not the temple, you know, and you're defiling it, you know, eating abominable foods. 
All right, all right. Uh, being on drugs, man. You know, you, so you can't you can't serve your hard me outside and serve this world, man. All right. And uh, let me get another precept. All right, I'm gonna stay in the book of John. All right, John chapter eight and twelve. Then spake Yahweh again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. You see? And Yahweh Shai, okay, he's that he's that light, man. You know? And that's what we have to follow after. All right. We can't lean onto our own understanding. All right. We we, we, we can't uh uh um <clears throat> scripture talk about, you know, you can't come up another way, you know? You gotta you gotta follow Yahweh Bashima Shai, man. All right, you got to follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth, man, you know? And this is that light, man. All right, there is only one way, all right? Yahweh Shai, he is the way, man, all right? And we have to follow, we have to follow Yahweh Shai, man, you know? All right, this is Romans, Roman chapter, Roman chapter 10 and 3. For they being ignorant of the most highest righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, you see, and we can't go about to establish our own righteousness, man. All right. You you think because you feed, um, you give money to the poor. All right. You give money to the homeless. You know, you, uh, um, you might, uh, donate, you know, you might, uh, uh, um, go to church, you know, you might be, um, uh, polite to everybody that you see, you know, you might hold the door open for somebody. All right. You can't go about to establish your own righteousness, man. All right. You have to come, you have to submit yourself to the righteousness of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. And he's going to say that it says have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. All right. So you got to submit yourself unto the righteousness of, of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, man. OK, not lean on your own understanding, not trying to establish your own righteousness. You know, the Lord, he already told you, you know, what's righteous, man. OK, not eating pork, crab, shrimp, lobster. All right. Not being of this world, you know, celebrating their holidays, you know, being in the spirit of, of, of this world. OK, these are the things that we have to do, man. All right. And that's righteous in the sight of your how about smell shot, man. OK, now uh, um, women dressing in modest apparel, you know, that's righteous in the sight of your how about smell shot. All right. Men, not um, um, men, not um. Um, sleeping with another man's wife, you know, that's righteous in the sight of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, man. All right, so we have to submit our, uh, we have to submit ourselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, man. Okay, and not going about to establish our own. Okay. All right, so let me go back. This is. John 8 and verse 12, read that again. Then spake Yahweh Shai again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. You see? So you ain't going to walk in darkness, you know, if, if you're following the law, statute, commandments of Yahweh Shai, you know, to the best of your ability, okay? You're, you're, you're doing what, what the scriptures have said, okay? You know, and that's what, and, and, and that's how we, uh, cause the scriptures is, is our, is our guideline, man. You know, if we know, if we're keeping the law, statutes, commandments, we know if we're keeping the ways of the Bible. All right. We know, we, we, we know that, that, that we're, that we're not walking in darkness. Okay. And once you come to this wisdom, I understand you, you understand that if, if, if you're doing outside of these laws, statutes, commandments, that's darkness. Okay. And Esau, you know, he's gonna push he's gonna push darkness, man. All right. Joel 9 24 says the earth was given to the hand of the wicked. Okay. So that's why he tried to put pork and everything, you know. He um <clears throat> he pushing this transgender, all right, homosexuality, um, vibe to everybody. Okay. That's darkness, you know. Um uh, pushing these celebrities, you know, uh smoking weed, all right, selling drugs. You know, Molly, Percocets, you know, these things is, is darkness, okay? Go to the book of 1 John, chapter 1, and start at verse 5. This then is the message 
which ye have heard of him, and declare unto you that Yahweh Bashim Shah is light, and him is no darkness at all. All right, because the most the most highest ways is is perfect. All right, Yahweh Bashim Shah is perfect. Okay, the scripture says that he's a man that that he shall not repent. He's a man that he shall not lie. All right, so Yahweh Bashim Shah, all his ways are righteous. Okay, and that's the image we trying to conform to. Okay, to the best of our ability. <clears throat> All right, verse six says, if we say that we have fellowship with them and walk in darkness, we lie. You see, so if we say that uh, that, that, that we got fellowship with with, with how about smell shine? All right, but 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 we uh we um eating pork, you know, we eating crab, you know, we're celebrating um, Thanksgiving and Christmas, you know, we know that there is no light in you. All right, because the scripture says. You shall know a man by his fruit, man. Okay? You, you see a man, you know, with a clean shaved beard and a in a lineup. All right, we know that 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 Yahweh Bashim Al Shah ain't dealing with them. All right. You shall know a man by his actions. Okay? You know, you see a man, you know, sagging his pants. All right. We know based off how 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 you keep up with yourself that 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 that, that you're not a man of the Lord, man. You know? It says, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. You see? So hey, this is how we know a lot of our people, you know, and the, the most high really ain't dealing with them. You know? They're uh they they they, they still getting lineups, you know, got dreadlocks in their heads, which is a heathen custom. See? So how you uh, uh what you do, man, okay, that that tells a lot about you. All right? And it says Verse seven, but if we walk in the light and he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. Okay, I'm read that again. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, you see, so if we um if we walk as Yahweh Shai walk, it says we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, his son, cleanses us from all sin. You see, because the Lord he died on that cross for the sins of the elect of the nation of Israel, man. All right, first and foremost, okay. And but two thirds, man, they gonna gonna have to receive death by pain, okay? And we're striving to be the 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 first spirits, okay? We, we mean we're striving to be the elect, man. All right, we're striving not to taste of that of that second death, man, okay? And um, <clears throat> but that was just a short lesson through the spirit, you know, just going through some precepts, you know, that was on my spirit, all right. And, um, so Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. And I'm going to like to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, or Kakodash. Also, I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that I labor in this work for the sake of Yahweh Bahashem Al Shai. And also want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of that great multitude that are listening to these videos and that serving the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom at the Wadi Yahweh Shem Al Shai for putting the spirit on me to make this lesson. Lord willing to the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom and a Baba Ba. Shalom.